Hey guys, welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I wanted to make today a video for the benefit of other online shopping addicts because online shopping is amazing. Uh, it buying stuff in Israel, as I've said a billion times only on this channel, is super expensive. But fortunately, the market is opening. It's getting more competitive. More online stores are selling here, very thankfully, including Amazon. Amazon currently at the time I'm recording this, and I just wanted to uh, jump to that screen quickly because uh, these things do change. It is 16th of December, so... Um, Amazon now, if it's more than $45, $49, they have a uh, promo on, on eligible free shipping items. That's made it pretty easy to get stuff to Israel and like decent price stuff, affordable stuff. So things are moving in a very, very positive direction. And uh, But there are laws to be aware of. And uh, I'm making this video because essentially not... 12 hours goes by in any day of the calendar year without an English speaker in Israel saying, what's up with the $75? How does that work exactly? So I just wanted to record a screen of uh, this video. Now, this is actually an official government website from the good people at the Rishut HaMissim Israel, also known as the Israel Tax Authority. Now, they don't always uh, do resources in English. People do uh, forget that English is not an official language in uh, Israel, only, in only Hebrew and, as far as I know, Arabic are. I say as far as I know because Arabic always was and then there was some controversy about the nation state law. I don't know exactly its current status, but Kitsur, as they say, uh, English isn't official, but this is a resource they've done in English. I do nevertheless recommend trying to get Hebrew resources where possible because they tend to be updated more and be more reliable, but this is probably pretty reliable because uh, they have this in English because so many people uh, who buy stuff online in Israel are English speakers. So basically, I just want to talk about the uh, regulations as they explain them, okay? Um, so firstly, um, the first thing to say is that, okay, first in section three, the, the tax calculation as well as the currency conversion, if the transaction was made in a currency other than the US dollar, aka USD, is performed on the date of arrival of the goods in the country and in accordance with the currency exchange rate set on that date, and not on the date of the transaction of purchase. So all these laws are super, super clear. The Bank of Israel, the central bank, does promulgate these official exchange rates, which if you're a freelancer trading internationally, as I was for uh, more than three years, you need to know about these. Uh, if you're billing in foreign currency, because ultimately uh, you are paying tax as calculated in, uh, in uh, Shekel Chadash, uh, therefore, you need to know about these. Now, you can get them very easily uh, through the Bank of Israel website, or you can also find them here. And I'm just loading up that page. If my internet will ever be quick enough, we will get them. We'll get to those momentarily. So that's the first thing to say is if you're buying stuff and uh, the order is the invoice you're getting is not in the United States dollar, then um, the currency conversion to the dollar is going to be performed on the date of the arrival of goods in Israel. So that technically is a bit puts you at a tiny bit of risk. Uh, because currencies fluctuate, therefore it's probably actually safest to buy uh, goods that are denominated in dollars. So um, Amazon gives you an option to buy and to pay in dollars or shekels. Now that's number one. Let's get to the meat of it here. Uh, the importation of a consignment worth up to $75. Now this is the one that the vast majority of people ask questions about on the internet. The rules are as follows. A shipment containing items with a total value of up to $75 is completely exempt from paying importation taxes. Now, um, the total value of up to 75 does not include transportation and insurance if they are calculated separately from the value of the goods. So this is good news. This means that we actually get a bit more uh, leeway here in our 75 bucks because they're not including the shipping and handling. So they give an example. If you buy clothes that are worth $65, and um, the shipping fees are 20, therefore it's gonna be an $85 order. So long as it's written out on the um, on the customs declaration CN22 that comes on the packaging, if you're ordering from any online store, uh, they're you know, a reputable online e-commerce merchant, they're gonna spell that out, you should be pretty much okay. And I, I imagine if you have to query it, you can send your invoice in digital form and uh, I haven't had problems. Um, I have had to pay VAT when I when I bought more than seventy five dollars of goods and that was a pretty straightforward process and if it's under I've on countless occasions uh, received goods including today from Amazon for less than this and there are no problems whatsoever um, except for the problems of getting the stuff which can be problematic um, and there's one more caveat for your attention two or more packages sent from the same supplier to the same importer 
up to 75 hours apart will be considered as one split consignment and the importation taxes will be calculated according to their combined value meaning as follows um a supplier in in this case realistically is an online store so i don't know if you could argue the case that if you bought from two different merchants on a marketplace like aliexpress that therefore technically they were bought from two suppliers um probably they're gonna I, I, I wouldn't risk it so just take a supplier to mean a marketplace uh for the purposes i would if you want to be safe so amazon ebay aliexpress next i heard what have you book depository so um if it's from the same place to the same person and the orders are placed within 72 hours they're going to be added. So in other words, if you buy $60 worth of stuff from Amazon on Monday, $60 worth of stuff from Amazon on Tuesday, it's going to be calculated as $120. And you're gonna to have to pay 120 times 0 0.17 uh, to, uh, to, to, you're gonna basically pay VAT, uh, value added tax of 17% on that order because they will be calculated cumulatively. Our handy, uh, 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 she, she matbea, our um, official current so these are the official currency exchange rates ad tarik tokef um metarik tokef is uh here okay so you can see today is uh this is the uh period that we have here and these are the different uh, currencies so you can look those up um now what happens if you spend more than uh 75 so the next category is between 75 and 500 dollars and basically what goes on here is that you do have to pay your value added tax according to the vat rate at the current time i if i'm if i haven't gone crazy it is 17 percent. but you also have to pay the total value of 75 to 500 does not include transportation insurance costs if they are calculated separately from the value of the items um a shipment containing this in this bracket it's exempt from paying customs duties and is subject to vat and purchase tax so up to 75 no vat no purchase tax no anything uh at between 75 and 500 starts getting stuff starts getting more expensive you have to pay vat and you have to pay purchase tax if there is a purchase tax on the item for example a radar detector costing 480 bucks it's got a transportation cost of 40 bucks uh, so it'll be charged customs. It will not be charged customs, uh, but only purchase tax plus VAT. And the total rate of those two taxes is 39.4% of the value of the item. Now stuff starting to get expensive. Um, and that comes to 205. So it's going to be 205 plus... Um, uh, sorry, it's going to be 205 on top of the uh, cost, obviously, of the whatever you're paying here, 520 plus 205. So uh, compared to radar detector, which costs 520 and will be sent to Israel uh, sent to Israel for free, which will be charged 56.2% since its price is over 500. In this case, it will be taxed at uh, 281. For your attention, two or more packages sent from the same supplier to the same importer up to 72 hours will be considered as one split consignment and the importation taxes will be calculated according. Okay, so basically uh, the same thing applies. Now, if you want to know what the tax rates are there is a separate resource somewhere here we go so Rishut uh, Amesim Israel have a resource called the Amecheshbon the calculator of Amesi Yevo the import taxes Lemotzrim Beyevo Ishi again my Hebrew pronunciation is probably off but I can understand what the words mean the calculator for uh, import tax uh, for a uh, for a personal Ishi for a personal importer not a not business importer so uh, I don't know let's go into Chashmal uh, Electronica Chimum Vekiro Habayit Dud Shemesh no let's go for Mazgan let's say you're bringing in an air conditioning unit. Uh, and under so metachat la shivim vechamesh dollar patu ben shivim vechamesh la chamesh miot dollar shivim shvasre echuz me al chamesh miot dollar shiur shloshim echad nukuda fs arba and they have a mechashpon mass as well there. I uh, just uh, if you want to do that, okay. So um, you can look it up for each item and see exactly what the rates are going to be. So now we've covered. The uh, up to seventy-five dollar territory. We've covered the seventy-five to five hundred dollar territory, and we've um, then the final one. The, the two more, five hundred to one thousand, and more than a thousand. If it's five hundred to one thousand, it's going to be subject to VAT, uh, as well as custom duties and purchase tax. If there is a purchase tax in accordance with the customs tariff order, you can find those 
elsewhere. And if it's more than one thousand dollars, a ship a shipment containing items with a total of more than one thousand dollars in the United States dollar, or shipments of tobacco, cigarettes, alcoholic and intoxicating beverage. The applied tax rate is calculated according to the value of the parcel plus the sure plus the shipping and insurance costs if any apply to view the customs tariff and purchase tax please click here so really useful they have all these different uh, calculators uh this is a slightly different resource again and uh, you can find out what those are i'm not going to go into them in the video because i think the vast majority of people a i'm not a customs a customs expert i just know from buying a lot of stuff online uh roughly how this system works and therefore i put this video together uh that's how it works uh, to summarize up to 75 bucks uh it's going to be uh, it's going to be free of everything of VAT. It's going to be free of uh, purchasing tax. Um, however, uh, that seventy five dollars uh, does not include shipping. Sorry, includes does not include shipping and handling. Seventy five dollars worth of goods. Um, if it's not in the US dollar, then it's going to be uh, the uh, conversion rate to the dollar is going to be calculated when it comes into Israel. That's kind of important um to note if it's between 75 and 500 you're going to be paying 75 percent and you're also going to have a uh, purchase tax if that applies there is an online calculator uh, that will tell you for like each item uh, what the rate you're going to be paying is that's on the website of if it's uh, 75 to 500 then it gets more expensive sorry 500 to 1000 it gets more expensive again because you're also play you're also paying customs duties and then over 1000 uh, you've got another calculator there to assist you with hope this video has been a use uh, my name is been da my name it has been my name is daniel rosewell thanks for watching if you want to get more videos like this feel free to subscribe to this youtube channel